with you. Las Vegas, Nevada and the Mr. Olympia Expo is the setting we start in the heavyweight division. This man is a rising star of a North American arm wrestling legacy. Welcome Jordan, the thrill, Sill. If ever a man was designed to arm wrestle, this young man is that individual. His opponent is bigger, his opponent may be more powerful, and he is a pro strongman. Welcome Lars Ropower Robakken. The Norwegian champion is back in the sport of arm wrestling to contest the battleground final. Before we get things underway, let's have a little look at some of the important rules of the sport. The athletes have one minute to get a fair grip. Their elbows must remain on the 7x7 seven seven elbow pad throughout the round. The referee can award a running foul during the match, which is a little bit like playing an advantage in soccer. And an athlete on a running foul must win the pin in order to get the restart. Two consecutive fouls by any athlete loses them the round. Jordan, the thrill, still. This man, arguably a light heavyweight, beefed up, but he is so big in terms of his physicality. The structure of Sill could easily walk around as a super heavyweight. Lean and ready, he feels like he can do more things with most people at an arm wrestling table. He's going to be playing here with a very, very big boy. Last row, power row back, and you can see straight away is a super heavyweight without doubt. This is a big, powerful man. In the opening, no! taking out Matt Mask. Ah! Thrill. I'm going to try and put the brakes on him and a little intensity early. And the man from America. The thrill. Big reputation here. Wants to make a splash in his own nation. Wow! He ran into a brick wall and a nod of acknowledgement and a look of anger on the face of the thrill. Doesn't like to lose and he wants to change those odds. Little acknowledgement there, nods over to Robakken. Yo. <laughs> it's Anno. <laughs> the Anno one of You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it from where you're at. Yeah. And if he doesn't do that, then... Vice in the corner there, Jordan Sill. Not how to set up with this big man to try and prevent that dead oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, attack there and Sill slammed it to the pad. Oh, off the back of the pad as he put the knuckles into it. Wow, what a war. Look at that on the replay. Big try. And uh, the arm. Back and literally collapsed at the base there. His fingers contacting, he let all the power off and right still fell off the back of the pad. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can you follow me? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Jordan still. Get him back. Get him back up. Back the referee to back him off, back off the shoulder. It's a blast through that wrist. Look at that. The power of the Norwegian. The gentle giant that is Lars Raw Power, Raw Bakken. Started his career in arm wrestling, moved to pro strongman. Gravitating back to the game of iron arms. And that's a worrying thing for all heavyweights worldwide. Forearms on the thrill. Massive forearms. Jordan Sill. Can't get past that. Just clear the American Polar has forearms like Cal's back legs. Just massive development around the wrist and the forearm. Hold that. Nope. Nope. Back off. Whoever's pushing, pushing her. Hold that. Ready? Go! Big drive, but Raw Bakken with an enormous oh! set press. Look at that on the replay, it's as though someone drove a train through your arm. Lars rolled back and so powerful. Two, two iron. Uh, two iron. Though. 
truly Get devastating. Standing high, Keep waiting to seesaw down and drop Keep in back. that Keep tricep. Keep his shoulder back. Just hold down, hold down. Ready, go! Jordan Sill tries to run out of there. We'll go to the strap. Yep. Now Jordan feels comfortable and confident in there, but the difficulty with Robakan is that even if you get the wrist and hand, he literally does not care. He will go! We back you! Oh, that's a fantastic hit from Jordan. The thrill still. He may be giving away weight, but I'll tell you what, look at that. What a hammering drive. Oh, elbow was clearly off the back though on the replay. And, um, yeah, looking across to the yeah. line, you've just been told yeah. that Lars Roback and also came off the front of the pad. I need Hence, the pin will stand. Massive hit there from Jordan Silva. I think he was very fortunate to get away with that, looking on the replay. That potentially for me was a restart. Both men elbow fouling. Ready, go! Well, back and didn't contest it. He just let his arm collapse onto the pad. And I think uh, he's riding the ball line there, Lars, and very educated about where his elasticity and the limits of that elasticity are. Keep that shoulder. The big Norwegian quite happy to let that one slide. Let's hold that. A little bit of wrist. A little bit more wrist. Hold that. Feel when he's in the game. And when he's not, and he was certainly in it there. Wow, raw power from Raw Barker. Look at that on the replay. Hammer time. Big hit from Jordan, but that is root one arm wrestling from the giant Norwegian. Lars Robakan with the win. Unbelievable tear up from a new force in the heavyweight division. He's big, strong, and fast getting where he wants to get, and it's hard to beat that. Yeah, it was hard, but uh, as long as I get the start, then it was easy. It's a win for me. I was pushing, trying to get him off so he couldn't actually get behind it, trying to make the ref square him up a little better so he isn't starting behind it, but he just got there before I could get where I wanted. Yeah, there's no, there's no chance against it back presser with uh, my arm this, in this condition, so I just have to press. But it would be fun when the arm heats up and meet him again and feel a little bit more power. He had a little too much, he's a little too big. 